and girls. Welcome to Brain Bank. Today we're going to read a story called The Storm. Can you say the storm? The storm. Excellent. This story is by Avelyn Davidson. Now, what is a storm? Does anyone know? There's a picture of what looks like a big storm right here. What is this? Ah, yes, we call that lightning. And usually when we see lightning, we also hear a noise. Not at the same time, but right around the same time. What do we call that loud noise that we hear during a storm? Does anyone know? That's right, thunder. Lightning and thunder and what usually falls from the sky in a storm. That's right, usually we have rain, very heavy rain. Okay, let's read the story. The storm. Can you read with me? The storm. So here we have a picture of some people in a storm. And what are they carrying above their heads? What is this and this and this and this? What do we call those? That's right. We call each one of those an umbrella. U M B R E L L A Umbrella. These are called umbrellas. Very good. And umbrellas keep the rain from getting us all wet because nobody wants to be all wet if they're going to work or going to school, right? And where are these people? Do we have any idea? Well, it looks like they're crossing the street and it looks like perhaps they're in a big city because I see a taxi right there. Okay, so here we have a little girl and she's looking out the window at the storm. Here comes the storm. Let's read it all together. Here comes the storm. The little girl is waiting for the storm to arrive. Most children want to stay indoors when a storm comes. They don't want to go out and play in the rain. So now here we have another picture. It looks like a big city again. What does the weather look like? Is it beautiful and sunny? No, not really. This is storm weather. Here we have dark clouds. Let's see what it says. Ah, look at the clouds. Can you read with me? Look at the clouds. So as we said before, it is not a pretty sunny day. These clouds are very dark and it looks like it's going to rain or storm soon. Okay, oh, here's a picture of, do you remember? Yes, lightning. Can everyone say lightning? Lightning, very good. So, look at the lightning. Can you read with me? Look at the lightning. Yes, it is lighting up the sky. Now, when it's lightning out, should we go outside and play? No, we should never go outside and play when it's lightning out because that could be very dangerous. Oh, wow, that's a lot of rain. Look at the rain. One more time, look at the rain. This is a lot of rain and it looks like it's coming down very hard. Not softly, but very hard. 
And there's so much. If we go outside without an umbrella, we will get very wet. Oh, maybe the storm is over. It looks like pretty nice weather, huh? Here comes the sun. Can you read it with me? Here comes the sun. Where is the sun? Ah, here it is. It looks like it's peeking through the clouds. So after the storm, the sun can come out again. Oh, look at this beautiful thing in the sky. Does anyone know what that's called? Yes, it's called a rainbow. Can everyone say rainbow? Rainbow, good job. There are many colors in a rainbow. So look at the rainbow. Everyone all together, look at the rainbow. So here is the rainbow in the big city and it looks like the storm is over. So now we have sunshine and a beautiful rainbow. Now, do you know what makes a rainbow? A rainbow is just light. It's a reflection of light. So the beautiful colors are just light in the sky. We can't touch it. It's just light. And here we have a little girl and she's dressed for the rain. She's wearing rain boots and a rain coat. And do you remember the name of this? An umbrella. Yes, good job. So she looks like she is ready for the storm, but the storm is over now. So she can take all of those things off and put the umbrella away. Okay, so the story is over now, but at the end of every story, we can usually find this. Who can read that? Yes, that is called an index. This is called an index. In an index, we can figure out where we go in the book to find these different things. So, for example, if I want to read and see pictures of rain, where should I go? Ah, these are page numbers. So if I want to see rain and read about rain in this book, I should go to page five. Page five. Now, what if I want to see a beautiful sunshine and read about the sun. What page should I go to? Yes, page six. Good job. But what if I want to read about scary lightning and I want to see some pictures of that? Page three? No, right here. Lightning, and here's the picture. Page four. That's pretty cool, huh? It helps us be very organized and find what we're looking for easily. Did you enjoy that story? I enjoyed it too. Well, have a great day, keep studying, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.